Karnataka. Hello everyone, this is Sophie Answer. Today we are going to start the chapter which is from the science part 1. The name of the chapter is known as gravitation. Okay, this chapter is from your science 1 textbook. See children, in this chapter the name of the chapter is gravitation and completely we are going to study about the gravitation in this chapter. Before that we should know that who has discovered the concept of the gravitation. So concept of gravitation was introduced by a scientist whose name is Isaac Newton. So this Isaac Newton the scientist was sitting under an apple tree. When he was sitting under an apple tree he noticed that one of the apple fell on the ground. Okay. So as soon as the apple fell on the ground Newton started to think. What he started to think that why did the apple fell down vertically downward direction. Remember the word vertically. Okay. Newton started to think that why did the apple fell down vertically downward direction. He started to think why didn't the apple moved in upward direction or why didn't the apple moved in a horizontal direction but apple moved in downward direction only. What was the reason behind that? After lots of thinking Newton came to a conclusion that that the force might be acting on the apple. One force might be there. Okay, what might be there? One force might be there which is acting on the apple. But question again comes from where this force might be coming. So this force is coming from the center of the earth. From where it is coming children? It is coming from the center of the earth. Okay, so earth exerts a force on the apple. What earth is doing? Earth is exerting a force on the apple and this force is acting in the downward direction and this force is coming from the center of the earth and because of this force the apple fell on the earth surface okay now Newton started to think if I will take this apple to a height will the condition remain the same so answer is yes if I will take the apple to certain height and from there if I will throw the apple again the apple will fall on the earth surface why because the attractive force is coming from the center of the earth and because of that the apple will fall on the earth then Newton saw the moon when Newton saw the moon, Newton started to think that the moon is also at certain height from the earth's surface. See you can see over here moon, it also at, moon is also at a certain height from the earth's surface. If moon is at a certain height from the earth's surface, why don't the moon fall on the earth's surface? It's mainly because, okay, let's understand the concept why don't the moon fall on the earth's surface. In order to understand this, we will see over here. See children, moon is not falling to the earth's surface but moon is revolving in a circular orbit around the earth moon is revolving around the earth in a circular orbit moon is neither falling on the earth's surface nor moon is leaving the earth gravity and move going anywhere in the space but moon is revolving around the earth what's the reason behind is that the reason is the centripetal force which force centripetal force now what's the meaning of centripetal force in order to understand the centripetal force we have to do one activity what is the activity we have to take a thread after taking a thread you have to tie a stone to one end of the thread and other end you have to catch in your hand after catching in your hand you have to rotate the thread in a circular direction okay you will feel that the stone is also performing a circular motion in this the stone is experiencing the force see this stone is moving in a circular direction when stone is when stone is moving in circular direction the stone is experiencing the force but from where this force is coming this force is coming from the center from our hand isn't it no the force is coming from the center from our hand and because of this force the stone is completing its circular motion okay so the force which is acting on an object performing a circular motion and is directed towards the center of the circle is known as centripetal force so in shortcut you can tell that centripetal force means the center seeking force the force which is acting on an object who is performing a circular motion and that force is directed towards the center such type of force is known as centripetal force and because of the centripetal force the stone is making a circular motion if this centripetal force will not be there so what will happen if the centripetal force will not be there then what will happen okay if centripetal force is not acting on the object so what will happen so see children if you lose this 
you if you lose this thread so what will happen the stone will fly off tangentially okay what stone will do stone will fly off tangentially because when you leave the another end of the thread now thread is not experiencing the force now the stone is not experiencing the force as the result the stone will fly off tangentially in the same manner okay let's come back to the topic in the same manner here thread is not there but moon is experiencing the moon is experiencing an attractive force which is coming from the earth okay so earth is exerting an attractive force on the moon because of this attractive force the moon is making a circular direction why moon is making a circular direction again the concept is that centripetal force what is centripetal force now only i told you centripetal force means the force acting on the object which is performing a circular motion the force acting on the object which is performing a circular motion and that force is directed towards the center and that force is directed towards the center such force is known as centripetal force and because of centripetal force moon is revolving around the earth okay if centripetal force will not be there if centripetal force will not be there so what will happen now moon will not get a attractive force from the earth as the result moon will fly off tangentially one condition moon will fly off tangentially or second condition may be there moon may fall on the earth surface okay here you can see that moon is falling on the earth surface or moon is leaving the earth gravity and moving away okay but neither moon falls on the earth surface nor moon leaves the earth gravity and moves similarly the sun is there and around the sun planets are there all the planets are revolving around the sun okay no planet is falling into the sun as well as no planet is leaving the sun's orbit and moving away why is the so again the concept remains the same centripetal force because all the planets okay all the planets are experiencing the force from the sun and this force is coming from the center of the sun because of this centripetal force the moon is not falling on the earth earth is not falling on the sun all the planets are not falling into the sun as well as not leaving their orbit so this is the concept of centripetal force hope you would have understood this okay please do share like and subscribe my video thank you and wait for the next session